I'm here in my empty classroom and it is sad. There's no noise, there's no conversations, uh, there's nothing. So, I mean, it is what it is. I hope you guys are staying safe. Please social distance, please stay six feet apart. Do everything you need to do to take care of yourselves and to protect your family, okay? So let's begin my class like we usually do with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Okay, so this past Sunday was Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday is celebrated by Catholics as the beginning of Holy Week. So later on in this week, we will have Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday, and obviously Easter Sunday where we celebrate that Jesus rose from the dead. So on Palm Sunday, the priest will usually wear a very bright red colored vestment. This red symbolizes the blood of Jesus Christ, the sacrifice that he gave for us. Red is also worn by eighth graders during your confirmation, and it also symbolizes in that sense, in the confirmation sense, um, the Holy Spirit coming down with the flames of fire, the tongue on fire, that stuff. That's what that symbolizes. But for this week, it only symbolizes the, well, not only, but it symbolizes the shedding of the holy blood that Jesus did on the cross. So Jesus arrived into Jerusalem on a donkey, not a horse. I know I love horses. They're amazing, but he did not arrive on a horse. During this time, that time frame, remember when we talked about all of the different societies we've been learning about, we always have to pay attention to that time frame, why the cavemen drew those animals on the walls, why the Greeks did this and did that because of the time period that they were in. So during this time period, Horses usually symbolize war because that's what the soldiers would ride on to battle. They would ride their horses and they would symbolize weapons, um, signified battles, it signified uh, winning a war, which is often very bloody and very gruesome. But the donkey symbolized humility. We all know what humility means, humility being humble, being very revenant. So he was welcomed with palms into Jerusalem riding on a donkey. Now. For our assignment for this week, it's gonna be the same thing that we usually do, or that we've been usually doing now, I guess, with this distance learning. Um, you guys are going to take a picture of what you've done and you are going to submit it through Shobi, okay? What you are going to be creating this week, you are going to go outside with the permission of your parents or whoever is taking care of you. You are going to collect some of the nature that you find, whether it be rocks, grass, leaves, a branch, whatever the case may be, and you are going to create your own Palm Sunday cross. We aren't able to go and celebrate Palm Sunday in church, but we can obviously do that virtually through Immaculate's Instagram or whatever church you see on Instagram, Catholic Church celebrating Palm Sunday, you are able to do that. But to physically get the palms, we don't know if that's gonna be a possibility. So I want you guys to create one. Okay, so we're going to be creating one if you weren't able to go and get one this past weekend. Okay, so I am outside here in our courtyard. What I want you guys to do with your parents' permission is I want you to go outside in your backyard, if you have a fence in your front yard, if your parents are there with you in your front yard, you are able to do that too, just stay safe. Remember to stay six feet apart always. So you guys are gonna go around, you're gonna pick up some rocks that you like, maybe some leaves that you like, some twigs, whatever the case may be. And then I'm gonna get back to you with our assignment. Okay, so for this part of the assignment, as you can see, I already Lysoled everything. We went outside, we collected some rocks, some mulch, Ew and some leaves from some trees. So what we are gonna do, since it is not possible this year to get our palms from the church, we are going to create our own palm cross. Now your paper does not have to be green. I just have access to construction paper, so mine is gonna be green, but you can always use whatever color you'd like and decorate your paper however you would like. Remember, creativity is a rule in this class. You need to always be as creative as possible. So what I'm going to do is I am going to 
make with my ruler a line here to begin my cross. I'm gonna try to keep it as straight as possible, as pretty as possible. I recommend using a pencil, so if you mess up like I just did, you can erase it and you can go back and fix it and make it a straight line. And see how this one's not aligned? I could always go back, erase it a little bit and make sure that it is aligned. You could also just go straight down lightly and then continue this line here and here and then erase it here to make it easier. So if you need to watch this a few times, you can rewind a little bit just to see this specific little part. But there I have my cross. What you guys can do if you'd like is cut it out or you can make it cross a little bit thicker, you can make it a little thinner, whatever you would like to do. But this is pretty much the outline for the cross that we are using. So as you can see, I just cut out my cross. It's a little uneven, but that's okay. Nobody's perfect and neither am I. So as you can see, I have a bunch of different things here that I'm going to be gluing on to my cross for Palm Sunday. If you have liquid glue, that may work a little better or a glue gun that may also work even better than what we're doing here. But just to be safe, we're gonna use the Elmer's stick glue. We're gonna glue on our leaves. Let them dry for a little bit and then I'm gonna glue on the next set of leaves that I have. make the base of my cross. Now, if you guys have little pebbles and stuff, you can always add that in around, add some dimensions. And if you have paint at home, I would highly recommend you to paint all of the little pebbles that you find, the stones that you find, and add your own colors, as long as you have mom and dad's permission and you can do it safely. So we're just gonna keep on adding adding and adding. So if you'd like on the sides, if you find some nicer looking mulch, you can always use that too or whatever you would want. Remember, you don't have to create it exactly like mine. I never wanna see a replica of mine. I always wanna see your creative take on how you do things, okay? Remember, we all are created unique and we all have our own unique ideas. So make sure you use them. You use your brain and be unique. That's the only thing we can do. So this is the finished product. As you guys can see, I probably got a little bit more supplies than what I needed, but I like the way this looks and I'm happy with how it came out. So this is my Palm Sunday cross we always need to let things dry so if i were doing this with hot glue i would obviously leave it for a little bit of time so that it could dry since i use this elmer's glue i'm gonna probably have to leave it for a little longer i did not glue down the rocks for this uh, demonstration but that is fine because i'm not going to be lifting it up so always be careful with um the rocks that you use and when you're finding them just to stay safe and to be okay and keep that six foot distance with other people